we are 344 days away from heading to the polls in the presidential election, and today marks a major shift. All because of what you're going to start seeing on TV, including here on Local 4. Jason Colthorpe here now with what makes Mike Bloomberg's TV blitz rather noteworthy. Yeah, it's because insiders think his entry into the race could throw a bucket of water on any momentum candidates like Senators Harris, Booker, and Klobuchar, and Mayor Pete had. But what will it do here in Michigan? When I say the name Michael Bloomberg, what do you think? I don't know. Who is Michael Bloomberg? Bloomberg, the money man. The money man? Yeah. Former mayor of New York City. Mm -hmm. Rich, knowledgeable, experienced gentleman. And now in the race for president. And now in the race for the president, that's correct. And now he's taking on him. Michael Bloomberg has announced his Democratic presence with authority in the form of a $35 million ad buy to make sure as many people as possible know he's running. I don't want a billionaire in power. I want a person that has lived a common lifestyle and can understand the common people. Especially in swing states like Michigan, where he may have some work to do. I don't think there's an immediate impact for him. Dennis Darnoy is a GOP strategist, and he doesn't think Bloomberg's media splash will register with Michiganders right out of the gate. But with our election still three full months away, that could change. I don't think his numbers are all of a sudden going to spike into top tier or even second tier um, qualities. But I think being the election for us March 10th, it will give him some time to see if he's for real. And oddly enough, it could be the impeachment inquiry that helps Bloomberg gain momentum because the six Democratic senators in the field will be tied up with that at the Capitol. That means that they won't be in Iowa, they won't be in New Hampshire, they won't be traveling, they'll be stuck in D.C. So it gives him a playing field, it'll basically be Biden, Mayor Pete, and himself. It's really interesting how it could all play out. Another theory which Darnoy isn't ready to fully subscribe to is that Bloomberg is just in the race to rail against President Trump, but buying ad time to do that as a candidate is much cheaper than it is if he would do it as a super PAC, so getting yeah. the most bang for his buck. And as we were talking, Michigan's uh, election is the week after Super Tuesday, right. so if right. there is a handful of success, like three or four candidates, Michigan really could be high noon, March 10th. We, it, was, it was obviously key last time around. Yeah. We would expect it to be again this time. Yeah. Yeah.